Hey there, it's Alpha Bob. In this video, I will show you a great heron fit for exploring null space. This fit will be for a starting alpha player, but any omega player can just add a cloak to make it a great fit. First step is to start with my 10 million isk heron fitting, which is on my bio page. In the search window, type Alpha Bob. Make sure to double click on the correct Bob. Now click on the heron fit and select the simulate button. Now we need to add the probes to the simulation. On the left bottom, click on the cargo hold. Now drag the probes up to the launcher. You should also move the ECCM script to the sensor booster. Now click three times slowly on the micro warp drive. This will put it into online mode, which will show the simulation numbers based on the micro warp drive being off. The most important stat is to have the probe base sensor strength above 72 points. This will allow you to scan level 4 relic sites. To see your probe strength value, hover the cursor over the probes. You can see I have 72 points. If you fall below 72, here are the ways to increase probe strength. First, make sure you have maxed out these three skills. Open your skills window. Under the skill catalog, select scanning and make sure that both astrometrics and astrometrics rangefinder are both maxed. Now select spaceship command and check that Kaldari frigate is maxed. These skills will increase your probe strength by a lot. Next, we will talk about equipment upgrades that can raise your probe scan strength. The easy but expensive option is to use a sister's core probe launcher. This will increase your strength by 8 points for about 30 million isk. A bigger gain of points can come from replacing some of the rigs, but you lose some other benefits. You can replace the small emission scope sharpener, which will take away a bonus to your virus coherence and make hacking a little bit harder. Replacing this with the small gravity capacitor upgrade 2 will give you an extra 11 points. And if you replace both rigs with the smaller version, you can get a 15 point boost to your probe strength. but I would suggest sticking with the other two rigs. Later on, you will want to increase your strength to above 100. The next way to improve your probe scan strength is with the scan rangefinder array. Now, you could replace the sensor booster and equip a single scan rangefinder array level 1. Alpha players can only equip the level 1 version. So you Omega players should use the level 2. We see this gives us 4 extra points, but you can equip multiple rangefinder arrays. The second array adds 3 points. Each extra array will add less each time. This is what's known as diminishing returns. Using more than one module of the same type will give you less benefit. I like to carry three scan rangefinder arrays in my ship's cargo hold. I will also carry a mobile depot so I can equip them when I need. A mobile depot will only cost you about 2 million isk and it will allow you to change fittings without having to dock. It's a great thing to carry with you in null or wormhole space. Mobile depots can also help store your loot when you are in danger. I will use them when I'm hacking a ghost site or a sleeper cache site. These sites can pay more than relic sites. If you only need two extra points of probe strength, it's best to use implants. You will find implants on the market. Best to buy in Jita. Look under scanning implants. The range-finding implants will be under slot 8. 
There are three different implants with increasing benefits, but we only want the cheap ones that will give a 2% boost to our scan probe strength. That's about two points. If your pod is destroyed, you will lose all your implants. As an explorer, it's best to stay with the cheaper ones. Spending about 1 million ISK for each scanning implants, they are a good investment. To activate an implant, just plug them in. Here's the warning about losing your implants. Now we can see this added 2 points to our strength. It actually is an increase of 2% of scan probe strength, but that's roughly 2 points at this level. Now that we have our probe strength above 72, let's check out our maximum targeting range. We want this to be around 65 kilometers. This allows us to target all the cans, and with the 65 kilometer range of our cargo scanner, it's a perfect combination. This target range is increased by two compact signal amplifiers. They also increase the sensor strength, and along with the compact sensor booster gives you 39 points of gravimetric sensor strength. This will make your ship invisible to combat probes. I have done some testing, which I will share in a later video, and I found out that a Heron with 35 points of sensor strength could not be scanned down. Now for the align time. You can see I have 5.6 seconds, but this is with the micro warp drive on. If we click the micro warp drive three times, we can see with it off, the align time is now just under four seconds. Your actual align time will be rounded up to the nearest second, so a time of 3.1 seconds is the same as 4.0 seconds. With this fitting, the low friction nozzle joint is the rig that improves the align time. There is room to add another one of these. This improves the align time to 3.5 seconds, but this rig takes away a little bit of your armor. As an explorer and a heron, if you get caught, you are dead. So having less armor isn't a big deal. I will now fit my ship with this equipment, but first I remove the charges. This is because they are already included in the cargo for this fitting. Now click on the Fit Ship button, and then click on Buy All. I had bought the Heron first and have it active now. Click on the Buy and Fit button. Answer yes to the questions. And now my Heron is ready to fly. You can now open your cargo and load the charges for real this time. I enter the simulation mode to verify my ship statistics are correct. It all looks good. Remember that this fitting is just a starting point, and depending on your playing style, you might decide that other stats are more important. It's time to take my new ship out for a spin around the block. I will fly to my safe spot bookmark. Sitting at a bookmark, usually you should worry about a hunter finding you with combat probes but not when you have 39 points of gravimetric sensor strength. Just activate your sensor booster once in space. I now fly to my safe spot bookmark. Make sure your micro warp drive is off. When it's on, your ship's signature will increase by 500% and then any hunter can find you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, happy hacking.